Hi, I'm Monique from San Diego County Gun Owners. Over 100 people attended our three monthly meetings last week. A huge thank you to Gunfighter Tactical in Miramar and RDL Tactical in Escondido for hosting our meetings this month. Let's do a recap of some of the information that you may have missed. First, our official voter guide for the 2018 November election. After vetting candidates on local San Diego boards and councils, SDCGO has produced our official voter guide for the November 2018 election. Now we need you to spread the word. Our voter guide can be found on our website and Facebook page, so make sure all of your friends and family see it before voting this year. Most important, folks pick an endorsed candidate, contact them, and get out there and help their campaign. Second, the San Diego County Board of Supervisors voted to ban target shooting on federal lands, even though they really have no authority to do that. Supervisor Diane Jacob put forth a puzzling proposal that the county would make it illegal to use federal land, citing fire safety and telling the crowd that bullets fly past her head from target shooters. SDCGO members and staff were there to make a statement against the proposal. Supervisor Jacob had a difficult time making her case and at one point was unable to point out on a map exactly where she wanted to ban the shooting. The vote was three to two in favor of banning shooting with supervisors Bill Horn and Kristen Gasper voting with us. So what does this mean? I've asked SCCGO Executive Director Michael Schwartz to tell us more. Okay, so is shooting in public land a thing of the past? Does this mean no more BLM land? Tell us a little bit about it. So the county's actual proposal is to take three months and, and define areas where people can shoot currently and then ban shooting in that area. It's about 50% of the available area on BLM land where you can do shooting. But the good news is none of that is going to apply because they didn't bother to get the Bureau of Land Management's approval first. Wow. So after they passed this regulation, we actually went straight to the Bureau of Land Management and specifically to the Department of the Interior. And we're discussing with them on uh, the subject of not just keeping shooting open on these lands, but actually expanding more areas for people to shoot as well. Awesome. Okay, so when will we find out a little bit more? Or is that the decisive action? It's going to take a couple months. Uh, like I said, we're working with the BLM now, so it's going to take a couple of months, but their uh, regulation d is not in effect and will not go into effect, according to the BLM for that we've we've spoken to. And we went pretty much straight to the top. Well, good. I mean, that's that's great news. So thank you, Michael, for coming down and telling us a little bit more about what's going on. You bet. Earlier this month, Larry Vickers from Vickers Tactical came all the way to San Diego and visited with SDCGO members in a very special event. Check it out. You can see the full clip of his talk and interview with SDCGO's Executive Director, Michael Schwartz, by following the links in the comment section. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to become a member for just $10 a month to support the great work that we do. I'm Monique for your SDCGO report. Thank you all for watching. Without someone doing something about it, it's not gonna get any better.